Yeah, my name is Martin from Travel Link. Um, previously, used Finance Oracle. Yeah, uh, today we'll be telling you about how you can um, achieve a zero um, dollar study program in the Netherlands and probably in some other countries, which I may um, tell you if I have enough time. But now I'm going to be telling you about one of the um, prestigious schools in the Netherlands. But for those who are new to my channel, um, I will be telling you uh, about my channel in brief. Yeah, my channel is um, mainly focused on traveling abroad, either through education or through work and other areas like conferences and you know, you know, other ways you could actually travel out of your country to a country where you're gonna be relaxed. So you can see I've done a lot of videos. Um, you can just check them out on my channel to see videos on scholarships, videos on permanent residency, what we mean, vocational educations, and you know, all the routes you can ever think of. And what I do is, I try to give you this information at real time and I make them as natural as possible. Uh, yes, I will not get all the view and attention because I do not want to sugarcoat it. I want to say what is possible and what is obtainable and it all depends on you. So you can actually come to my page to see what I've done so far well guys if you're new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe don't forget to like it like i said today i'm gonna be telling you about how you can study in netherlands and move to the netherlands but netherlands is one of the best country you can ever think of when it comes to moving abroad especially in europe is one of the top european countries and i'm gonna be telling you about that so well the school i'm gonna be telling you about is university of 20. yeah so and this is gonna be how you can um, study abroad and free, of course, at the University of Twente, uh, where they've got a lot of technology. You can see even from the picture or the image you saw on the screen shows you that this school is technologically driven. And if you're someone who wants to do courses like uh, medical engineering or biotechnology, this is also one of the leading schools you can ever take if you want to do engineering, you know, or any kind of science, physics, even business and finance. This is one of the top schools you could ever think of. So. They are doing almost every course you think of, but then the good thing is that they are good at it. You can see sort of vertical farmers and all that. But anyway, this is just to give you a highlight of what the school looks like. So I'm going to be taking you to um, show you all you need to know about this school and how you can actually enroll and all that the scholarship opportunities and, you know, whatever it is. So you can see what they look it looks like so in there. So let's go back um, to... Their scholarship page, which I'm gonna be dropping for you this link, so don't bother about this link, okay? Yeah, so today's so investor of 20 scholarship. Um, in short form is U2S, okay? Yeah, that is a scholarship. Um, yeah, well, if you're trying to get a support, you can hit up here to, um, you know, book an appointment to get a support. Otherwise, you just come to investor of 20 scholarship, which is U2S, it's a scholarship for excellent student from non EU or EER countries applying for a graduate program, master's degree at the University of Twente, and become one of the most promising YouTube students, exclusive opportunity to take part in an intake for one of the three honors program, research honor, design honor, or change leader. So these are all opportunities for you. Now I'm gonna be telling you about the scholarship value. The scholarship value ranges from £3,000 to £22,000 for one year. Approximately 50 scholarships are available. So that means that a lot of um, scholarships are available, I mean, for... But then this is also on the first come, first serve basis, right? Though there are other things which they are going to be looking at, like um, academic performance and stuff like that, okay? So if you apply, apply for any of the two years program, you make sure you read the information about two years, so the program below where you can see everything they mean, then you are going to be available, um, um, you're going to be qualified to partake in this, okay? But then show or take note that the scholarship is meant for, um, as a compensation for study-related costs. Um, it is up to you, you know, up to the scholarship student to decide how to spend the money, no cost, institution fees will be paid on your behalf. So the beautiful thing about this scholarship, unlike most of the scholarship, we've ever seen is that uh, most of the scholarship they're going to be paying your tuition fee or they're going to give you living expenses or both 
But for this, they don't care what you're gonna do with it, in as much as it's just within your study, whether it's for feeding, whether it's for tuition fee, whether it's for accommodation, whether it's for your traveling transport, that's fine. So which means if someone have already paid your tuition fee, I get this, then it's gonna be a plus for you, you know, to enjoy your you know, yeah, the opportunity and all that and get things ready for your studies and stuff like that. Yeah, so now um yeah, two years course programs are what you need for you to qualify, okay? And um, in case of such program, um, student can receive an additional UTS of an amount equal to that in the first year to cover the expenses of the second year. So for this, they're going to give you for the first year and you can also receive an additional scholarship, um, which will also equal the same amount to cover the cost for the first year. However, this um, um, scholarship will only be continued during the second year when students meet up um, the process requirement for the UTS. So you must be regular in terms of attendance, in terms of performance, and all that is for you to be able to get it for the second year. But the first year, they're not going to um, you know, take it away from you. But the second year, you may lose it if you're not up to date, okay? So there are things you need to do. You have to obtain an average grade of 7 out of 10. So which looks good, you're going to be getting 70 over 100 at the end of um, the third quarter of the first year and um, you need at least 50 percent of european um, credit credits okay at the end of the third quarter of the first year so if you get any of these to all both of you know both requirement then you're gonna be eligible for additional scholarship an additional scholarship um, can be awarded to uts recipient only for programs that started in september 2025 so if you do any program which starts in you know, um, you know, other times you may not be able to get this. So that's why it is important to take note of this, okay? Uh, you need to apply for an investor of 20 scholarship um, in order to be eligible for the Kipali um, scholarship, okay, which is an additional scholarship. Um, well, if you're interested in an eligible for the Kipali uh, Kipaji scholarship, we advise um, you to indicate your interest in the application motivation. So, while you're applying and you're eligible, um, interested in this additional scholarship, you must identify or you must indicate, okay? And this Kipaji scholarship has additional requirement. So, you need to make sure you check the information of the Kipaji scholarship program, which I'm going to be taking you, okay? Then there are programs, there are master's programs which are eligible. So, just sit up this place and check out. Applied mass, applied physics, biomedical engineering, which they are very famous in this business administration, chemical science, and engineering, civil engineering. You can go through all of them. You can see there are many of them, right? So if there are many of them, that means I don't have to go through all of them. It's going to take me a lot of time. So you can hit up to see more information. Then there are countries too, which they will allow to apply for this scholarship. So let me minimize this here. Look at the countries which are eligible, not all countries. Of course, EU countries are not eligible. We can see Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, Americans, Samoa, Andorra, Angola, Angoli, Angola. This is quite difficult for me. Anyway, some of those countries out there, I'm not going to pronounce all of them. Of course, you go down, you're going to see yeah, Dominica, El Salvador, yeah, Fiji, Fiji Island, French. Guinea and sell of them. Um, let's just look at Indian, Hong Kong. Wow, I think you know Hong Kong is gonna be eligible. I thought that maybe they're gonna not gonna deal with Taiwan, but anyway, I see Taiwan countries. Liberia, Lebanon, Lesotho, Marco. Okay, they are not really looking at just uh, four countries, but they are looking at countries outside of EU. Yeah, you can see um, Nigeria. You know, um, all that country, Pakistan is there, Pan Panama is there, Syria alone, South, South West Africa, Ghana, you know, all those countries are all part of uh, the countries which are eligible. So guys, this is about the country, so I'm going to minimize so I can forge ahead with um, all that is okay. There are so many countries, it's over um, almost 200 countries anyway in total. So I gotta minimize it and look at the application deadline is either February 1st or May 1st. So it all depends on when you need it. 
Uh, application requirements is quite important for you to take note, okay? Because there are things you need to be eligible to apply for, into the University of Twitter scholarship. Um, you should meet all of the requirements, so then you need to be careful, like, you know, listen carefully. Yeah, for this application, um, it, it is a procedure, you know, separate from the application for cost entry, so you must do a separate application, okay? And regardless of funding, you will need to gain an academic admission letter first. So if you don't have academic admission letter, then you won't be eligible, okay? And you also need uh, a provisionally, or you also need to be provisionally admitted to one of the qualifying UT master program, not any of the program, but those which I've just told you about, okay? And you also need to be from the countries which I've also told you about okay then um you also should know that this may take up to eight way um eight weeks before you receive a result so do not wait till it is late for you to um, apply when you need the money to apply really on time okay and you must have a student number so that means you must have been admitted okay um you have not graduated from the ut undergraduate program so it is for people who have registered from some other places. Uh, you also need to comply with a with the condition of obtaining an entry visa to Netherlands. If you've done not done that, then it's not gonna work for you, okay? Uh, you need to comply with the general English language test requirement of um, IRTS six point five or TOEFL, IBT or of ninety, the um, ninety, um, additional six point zero. Um, TOEFL IBT 20 on the subscore of speaking skill, okay? And you are not eligible for a Dutch study loan. So, if you are eligible for Dutch study loan, then that would be your priority because this is for the people, that's why they've said this all for EU countries. And the University of Choice Scholarship is um, a scholarship for excellent students. Typically, this means that you belong to the best 5 to 10% of your class. You're not going to just be like a nobody and apply for this, okay? Yeah, there are key things to know that UTS is not available for Dutch and current UT students. The UTS is not available for EU students. The UTS is not available for master's program at the Faculty of Geo Information Science and Earth Observation. They've got their own separate scholarship and the UTS is not available for the pre-master's program, okay? It must be for a full master's program, which I've listed. And the application deadline I've already said is, um, um, you can see for this one, round one is, um, it opens in 15th of October and it closes in 1st of February. And the round two opens in 1st of February and closes in 1st of May. So this is about it. So how to apply, you just need to, um, you know, you have to apply for a master's program first. And once you've done that and you've got an admission, you can apply for the scholarship with your student number, you know, and fill up all the information which I request. So if you want to apply, this is where you can come to apply for um, Invest of Trade Scholarship, okay? Then, but be aware that, like I've said earlier on that, this scholarship actually, um, you can get an additional scholarship, which is the King Kipaji Scholarship, which I'm going to be showing you the requirement, okay? Yeah, this Kipaji Scholarship is also up to 12000 Euro per year, okay. And look at the overview of the estimated cost of living in Netherlands. Should you want to see that, which means you're gonna be getting what covers it. So it still has to be people within these courses, and also people within this country, which I've told you. And the requirement is uh, not too far from um, the previous one, but in order to be eligible for this Kipaji scholarship, you need to be a recipient of the University of Twente scholarship. Without it. You cannot get this because it is an additional scholarship, okay? In order to qualify for Kipaji Scholarship, applicants should meet the requirement of the University of Trade Scholarship. Additional application applicant must have the nationality of one of the DAC countries, which I've shown you, okay? These are the least developed country and other low-income countries, okay? And you must have obtained a BSc in their home country or neighboring country, not in U.S., where it is not within that area so they're not gonna honor it or even in um you know university of trade is not gonna be honored okay yeah the keeper scholarship can ensure that um 
you receive a full scholarship and you have achieved good grades for their pre-master's program, average of eight over 10, and submit a motivation letter stating how they intend to use their studies at the University of Twitter to increase and enhance the scientific level of or for entrepreneurial pros, um, purposes in their home country. So these are all the requirements. I had to apply for this. So you can see that um, in order to apply for this, you need to be a recipient of the University of Twitter, which I've said earlier on, and you just refer to the website to see the requirement which I've shown you. So once you've done this, then this is fine. The faculty of the program nominated you for the Kipaji Scholarship upon request for the faculty you may need to submit a motivational letter setting how you intend to use your studies at the University of Twente to increase and enhance the scientific level or for entrepreneurial process in your home country, okay? And please indicate in your motivational letter that in UTS scholarship that you also wish to apply for Kipaji scholarship when you meet the criteria. So, because once you're doing your first application, you have the um, opportunity to actually mention this okay yeah so once you do that then you know that you're gonna be eligible for this so guys um this is it about how to apply for this okay and uh, you can see the university of testing scholarship um, like a flowchart how everything works anyway you can do um you can explore this um, school also to see more information about it. so guys this is what i have for you and i'm gonna be wrapping up here do not forget that um at travel links we have a lot of information that will help you to move abroad uh, we've got um, videos over um, 280 videos uh, which we've made so guys that means that we've got a lot of resource for you so it is important for you to um, you know subscribe to our channel and be part of this community i wish you the best of luck guys see you see you in my next video cheers